show. I'm Lydia. And today I have Rachel with me. Yay! <laughs> and she called me up a couple weeks ago and said, hey, can I buy a starter from you? Because I make sourdough bread. been making it for three years. Um, and I said, no, you can come over though and I'll give you some. <laughs> so we decided that we would, I would show her all the steps and we'd record it so that everybody out in TV land will know too. So we're excited to get started. I wanted to tell you a couple things first. Um, I made you a starter. You did? I oh, made you one. Thank you. So this is your baby one. Oh, it's so, so cute. So you, can, you can have that. Okay. Um, I got, this is my Does starter. Does it smell? Yep. It's very, it smells like a, it, like a... Um, yeast? Yeah, very, very yeasty. It's yeast. Kombucha. It's, yeah, because kombucha is like fermented okay. yeast. So this is just fermented flour and water is all it is. And it can, I know this can get look kind of gross, but honestly, it doesn't ever spoil. Okay. Well, I shouldn't say that. Mine, have, mine is never spoiled. I do clean it out. I do transfer it into a new jar um, every couple weeks. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to keep this in the fridge. So, and this is what made me, this is what clicked for me. Okay. I keep this in the fridge and once a week you feed it. How do you feed it? So you, all you have to do, and you don't have to measure anything, there's no measuring involved, you add a little bit of water and a little bit of flour. Just like a few, kind of like a few drops? Um, I'm going to show you that. Okay, okay. Because what we're going to make from this is called a leven. Leven, okay. Mm -hmm. And I made one last night, and oh. that's what this is. This is my leven. Oh, that looks wild. Isn't it? So typically, when I make this, I make the dough in the morning. Okay. So we're going to go a little bit backwards. I'm going to show you how to make the leven, but first we're going to make the dough. So to start doing that, we have your scale, okay. and we're doing grams. So, and we want to make sure that the bowl doesn't get weighed, so we put that on. Okay. And then we hit it again, and it goes to zero. So okay. we're doing grams. So we need 1,200 grams of flour and water. And, and then we're going to add some salt to it too. One thing I think everybody should know is everybody has a different recipe for sourdough. Um, I found this recipe and I've just been using this one. Okay. So, um, but we're going to get some water. And what I do is I have um, water that I, I mean, it's a tank that I, That's what I it's have. cold okay. and hot. Okay. Mine's cold and hot. So uh, my assistant over there is going to fill it up with like, but it's boiling hot water. So she'll put a little bit of hot in and then okay. the rest cold. Cause we don't want it to be hot, but we want it to be like a lukewarm. Warm. Yeah. Like a lukewarm. Okay. Okay. And anybody who is making sourdough, feel free to anytime um, email OCTV and we can help you out. I can definitely answer any questions any, anybody wants to know. Well, I say that loosely because I'm always learning. But this is the way I do it. Again, there's a million ways to do okay. it. And you're going to find your own way. Okay. I have a friend who's making it now and she's always making her sweet, which, is, I, which I've never done. Yeah. So I mean, so that's what I'm saying. Someday I'll make it sweet. You can use yeah. cranberries or You're maple kidding. syrup. Yeah. I didn't ever think about that. And the other thing I wanted to tell you is this is yeast. This is yeast. This okay. is in place of yeast. Your starter is in place of yeast. Okay. So when you think of it as a pet that you're feeding every week, you take a little out. So that's why there's something that's called discard. Okay. People throw it away. I don't ever want to throw this away. Yeah. So what I do is I make bread. I make bread every other week. Okay. So okay. what we're going to do is we're going to make two loaves. Okay. Um, I make two loaves every time. I freeze one, which I've talked about before on camera. Yeah. Freeze one and thank you. Perfect. So when you are saying 1,200 grams, yeah. you're, you're saying flour and water. So how much water, I guess, should I say? So it's um, 500 grams of water. So what I typically do, because I add salt to the okay. water to let it dissolve a little bit, um, I'll put it in, I'll put the water in here. So I'll, I'll start it out slower. So, and then you put, you're supposed to put about a tablespoon. Okay. A tablespoon of salt. So I did measure for the camera's sake and for your <laughs> sake, but typically I just go like this, you know. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's about a tablespoon of salt. Okay. And just kind of let that sit there for just a second. So now you want 700 grams of flour. Okay. So 700 grams. Again, if you go online, 
or in a cookbook. It's, there's so many different recipes. So you're just gonna find the one you like and what okay. you like, what flavors you like. So we're gonna get up to seven. Any questions you can think of? Not yet. Not yet, okay. Oh, I guess when I keep this in the fridge, do I keep it just like that or do I put a cheesecloth over it? Um, you keep it like that. Okay. But, that, I mean, that's a good question. Because when you bring it out on the counter, which let's just say today's Monday, is today Monday? Yeah, <laughs> today's Monday. All right. Um, what I would do if I'm gonna bake on Tuesday is I take this out. Of the refrigerator? Yes, okay. and I let it sit out overnight. Okay. Just to let it get room temperature and warmed up. Um, you can see the bubbles in it. That's wild. Yeah, it's, it's so cool. But I'm telling you, thinking of it as your pet, okay. you take care of it, you know? Okay. So that is yours. But we're gonna actually take, because I'm gonna show you how you feed it. Oh my. Demonstrate how to feed. So this is, that's yours, this is mine. Okay. I've been growing it for you now since we talked. Oh they just kept gosh. adding like more. Okay. That's what I'm saying. It's like, it doesn't matter how much you add as long as you give it something. Okay. Okay, so we got seven here, a little bit over, but that's okay. So now we're gonna add um, some water. We'll add the salt with the water. So we add that. And we have to go up to 12, we're at nine. Going up to 12. Okay, so 12, okay, now I get it, yeah. got it. With the flour and water. So we're going up to 12. If we're a little bit over, it's okay. Don't ever panic about it. So now you're going, are you going slow for a specific reason? Just so I hit 12. There. Okay, oh, you're, uh, now Oh, I sorry, right here. I couldn't see with this. Oh, sorry, shadow. okay, yeah. <laughs> it's right here, 12 grams. Gotcha. So now we are at a little tiny bit over 12 grams, which is not a problem. Okay. So now we're done with our scale. And this is our Levin. And you said cheesecloth. So last night I made it, put it on the counter, and because I make this every other week, I was using so much plastic wrap. Right. So I didn't want to anymore. So I got this. And you, although I've kind of ruined it. Because <laughs> it used to be like waxy, so it would cling to it, but I don't care. It still works. You just would lay it over. Okay. And you, I just keep, this is just my spot every time. I found a spot for it, you, you got know? A little hidden area. A little, okay. Yeah. So you know what nothing's going to get in it or anything. Yeah. So now you're just going to use this whole thing. Oh. So it's almost like making, some people don't do it this way. Some people do it right from their okay. starter, they add. So now this is 75 grams of water and 75 grams of flour. Okay. So that's how much. Okay. And here's another thing we should talk about is the flour we used. Isn't this cool? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Um, All the kids that like slime should do this <laughs> with their moms. Really? My, my daughter went through like a slime making phase. <laughs> it looks like slime. It really does. Um, so the other thing, so I'm using bread flour, but a lot of times I add a cup of whole wheat flour to this. I didn't this time. Um, what we're going to do is now use... Now why would you choose one versus the other, I guess? So, if you use whole wheat flour, it's going to make it like more of a rustic, heartier okay. bread. Okay. So this is going to be more like the bread, you know, sourdough you might get in the restaurant or okay. whatever. It's a little bit lighter. Okay. Mine tends to be a little bit heavier um, because I do that. And again, I, like right. last time I made it, I was thinking of you because I like, <laughs> I just threw it in. How much did I put in? I'm not sure. It doesn't matter. Just as long as I get to 12. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I like it. So there's rye flour. Yeah, something. that's what I got. Yeah, because I had said that to you. So um, you can feed this with rye flour. It gives it a little bit different taste. And that's the whole thing. It's like you're going to find out what you and Ryan like. Well, and like, how fun is that just to get to, you yeah. have a lot of different ways you can take it. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, and so it's amazing what happens to this. After about an hour, this dough looks so different than this. So right now it's like kind of raggedy, and I have learned, trust me, I have learned, <laughs> because you don't want to get this all down your drain either. Oh, right. So that's another tip I would tell you is always use cold water. Like okay. when you're rinsing things off, you want to use cold, even though you're tempted to use hot because you think it's going to make it melt away. No, don't use oh hot. Oh my gosh, that's wild. Yeah, okay. so that's a good, and then I'm telling you, this is super neat for the way I started. 
because it just was everywhere. And then I took it out and it's all over my counter. <laughs> but I've learned that, oh, wow, I can just contain the whole thing in here and just okay. use a spatula. Well, and it looks like glass appears to be like the, a good thing for yeah, this. Yeah, I, I would do glass. A lot of people do plastic with these. Okay. It's, which is so weird to me. I was watching a video that's, and I would so recommend watching. If you want to start doing this, watch videos on YouTube. There's a guy named Josie. He's in San Francisco. He owns some bread company, and he oh. is pretty amazing. He's taught me a lot. <laughs> Josie. So. Josie. Okay, so he's he's knowledgeable yeah. about it too. Yeah, I would watch him. Okay, so then this is the weird part, which we're going to look at it at the end of our show. We're going to look at this a little bit, and we'll see if it's changed any. So what happens now is, so typically I do this in the morning and I cover it just with a towel. Just use any oh, towel. Right, okay, right. And I usually keep it over towel. here. So this is dependent on the temperature of your house. Oh. It really is. So like if it's the dead of winter and you keep it at 65, you might want to turn on your oven for a while. Okay. You know, and, and just let it heat it up a little bit. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, so I just do this. Okay. And then what I typically do, I don't do this anymore, but what I started to do is I'll time it for an hour. Look at it in an hour. And then there's something called stretch and fold. So did you ever join that web that I sent you a um, re or an invite for the sourdough thing? Oh, did I not no? see? I didn't see that. Okay, we'll do it again. Okay. Um, so anyway, there's so many things on there. You learn a lot from them oh. too. There's professionals on there. There's amateurs on there and they're from all over the world, which oh, well, is really cool. That's fun to learn like that. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. All right, so now we made a dough and now we're gonna make the leven. So I'll show you how we do that. I found that these little... Okay, just the little glass ones. Yeah, okay. I like these little things. Okay. Oh, actually, we are going to use the, this again. Okay. So there's no salt in my Leven, just in the dough. Okay. And again, you could make, you could put maple syrup in it. You could put sugar in it. And I'm not sure when you add that. If you decide you want to make a sweet dough, you would follow a recipe. Just see how they do it, when they add it. Because to this right. dough, I'm also going to add... So I do two different things. For me, this is just okay. me. Okay. I love to use rosemary in it. Oh, I love rosemary. Okay. So okay. I usually use, I use rosemary and I use um, pepitos. You know the pepitos yes. are the pumpkin seeds, the inside of a pumpkin seed. Oh my gosh. So I'll use those or I'll use sesame seed. Okay. Those are my standard things that I do. I love it. Oh, that sounds Again, delicious. you can do anything you want. You can put sunflower seeds in it. Yeah. So... When we come back, we're gonna um, we're gonna I'm gonna show you how to make the leven. Okay. And I'm gonna show you how to use. I also had to invest in this wonderful machine. What it's, is that? It's a mill. Oh it's gosh. so cool. It's so cool. <gasps> so I've bought wheat berries and I bought um, icorn, icorn, icorn seeds. And we'll be right back. And I'm gonna make it. Show you. Hey, thanks. Welcome back um, here with Rachel and I also want to say that I, I know I said earlier that Rachel is a massage therapist but can you tell us a little bit what you're doing? I can. Uh, I opened up my own practice with my two really good friends. Uh, we are right next to Eva's. Everybody knows where Eva's is. Um, we're underneath Orion Vision on Lake Orion. You can see the lake. Oh, and nice. I know, it's so nice. Have a massage and see the lake. <laughs> I know, right. And it's called uh, the Outer Practice Massage Therapy. Yay. Uh -huh. I'll be making an appointment soon. Please do. <laughs> I will do that. Okay, so now we made the dough, but that is, that is not the first step. The first step, obviously, is our starters, which we have here. I've been making this one for Rachel for about two weeks, probably. Yeah. Um, just by adding flour and water. To mine, took some out, 
put it in her in hers and you feed it once a week keeps if you keep it in the fridge you would feed it once a week so if you go on vacation you have to have someone come in your house and feed your pet all right I Although didn't even people, think about that. People send it all over the world. They, you, can, you can dry it out. I don't know the process, but you can literally put it between like parchment paper, put it in an envelope and send it to somebody. <laughs> Isn't that cool? That's yeah. awesome. It's, it's, it's pretty amazing. Oh, I love it. So we're going to make, we're gonna make the leven that we talked about that we used for the dough. So we're doing the first part now. So we're going to do this again. We weigh our bowl. How come it's at zero? Oh, I guess it's at zero. Well, that's okay. So you would always push it again to make it zero. You, okay. As long as it says zero, you're good. Okay, so with the, the bowl on top. Okay. Yes, with the bowl on top. Okay. So the other thing I wanted to show you is my, my newest, well, it's not really that new. It's about two years old, but I bought a mill. So I bought, this is called um, I corn berries. And then I've mostly had wheat berries which is whole wheat and now th this says berries so this is a berry like it's a, a berry. dried berry yep okay and and we're gonna put that in our sourdough we're gonna put that in for making our leven okay so you can use rye flour to make this you can use bread flour again it's you're gonna as you make it you're gonna see what you Try like in. what you okay. guys like so i saw this at the farmer's market last a couple weeks ago, I was at the Eastern Market. Oh, I love Eastern Market. And they had it. And I actually called them. Well, I, I messaged her and I said, can I buy like this in bulk? And she said, yes, it's $44 for 25 pounds. Okay. Um, it's Hampshire Farms, it's called. But we can talk about that. Okay. And I can give you details. But anyway, so I'm going to show you how this works. So this is going to determine, this part determines how fine you want it. Okay. So I just leave it here because I will always want it as fine as it goes. Okay, so one is the finest. Yeah. Okay. And then I always turn it on before I put the bowl on because there's usually a little bit of flour in there. And you can use it, but you know, if it's stale, whatever, I always just try to get rid of it. And then this whole thing comes apart and you want to take it apart because it can get build up inside. Right, right. Okay. So, and it sounds like it's working. It's given, it was weird. It was acting weird a couple weeks ago. I don't know why. But so what I typically do is I turn it on and I pour this in. Oh wow. Now are you measuring that at all? We will. Okay. We're gonna. I'm not measuring it now. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> you have to do Spin it. it. Yep. So that's flour. That's how they make flour. That's awesome. Yeah. You can see it. Do you want to see how it goes down? Yeah. Oh, I love it. It's probably enough. So I usually just do that a couple times. Okay. Um, you can see exactly how this works on YouTube. They show, Yeah. like, there's all this stuff about how to clean it. You never want to put um, like almonds through it. Anything oily, you don't want it in there. And it can only be for dried things. Okay. So we need 75... Is that my dog? What is she doing? Oh, she's all right. She, oh. Um, I just don't want her to go out the door yes. without me. <laughs> oh, I know. She was a traveler. She's a wanderer. Oh, you know what? Can I <laughs> That's right. I have water left. Okay. So 75 grams of water, uh, sorry, flour. Okay. And again, I'm using I-corn flour, but you can use bread flour. I don't know about um, all-purpose flour, but it would probably work as well. Okay. So if somebody just said, you know what, I really want to do it, all I have is all-purpose, try it. I'm sure it would be fine. So we're doing 75 here. Of that. Of this. Okay. And again, I do this like right before I go to bed. Okay. And then this one, I try to make it exact, but I don't think it matters as, so okay. much either. Okay. And then you, so you want 150 to 75 of each. Okay. And what was this called again? A le, le, leven. 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 Or some people call it a leaven. Okay. Gosh, there's, <laughs> there's going to be so true, many It's true, though. There's, yeah. So, okay. Trying to get this exact. 
say? 49, yes. 150. 151, that's okay. That's okay. All right, so now you can stir it. Okay. Let you stir. And I am gonna add some of our starter, and that way I can show you how I feed it. Yes, So please. whenever you take some out, you wanna feed it. Okay. Ooh, it looks perfect. So uh, this, you're gonna kill me, but I don't really measure this. <laughs> I just put in whatever. I don't so, know. so I go like this, and I just put it in, but I'm gonna take some of yours too. So normally I would probably do a heaping, I probably do that much okay. in my Levin. However, I'm gonna take some of yours too. And you're going to use your spoon. You can scrape it. Scrape it, it off. Yeah. yeah, scrape it off. And it doesn't matter if they mix with each other. They're both. They're and then really, stir? Yeah. Okay. They're from the same family. These guys are family. Aw, they're it wouldn't cousins. Matter. They're cousins. <laughs> so it doesn't matter. But you can see how when I touch it, it kind of like deflates. That is so bizarre. That's how you know it's it's ripe. Okay. You want it to be ripe. Okay. <laughs> All right. So get that in there. Yeah. And the ooey it. goodness, okay. Yeah, and then tomorrow morning, after you let this sit on the counter overnight, you'll make the dough that we made before. Okay. So we just kind of went backwards. And now I'm going to show you, I'll let you do this part too. Okay. It's okay. There you go. That's fine. Okay. I'm going to use my spatula again. Gosh, it smells so yeasty. That's so neat. Yeah, isn't it? You're making homemade yeast. I is love basically, it. that's what we're doing. Yes. Okay, so now I'll show you. I'm going to take my little handy dandy thing. I'm going to put it in my special place. Yeah, your special place. I my... need a special place now. You do. you got to have a special <laughs> place in your kitchen for your baby. Yes. Or your pet. My new pet. So, and I have this left over, which I'll just use the next time I make bread. Okay. Put it, I'll put it in the container. Um, so now we want to feed them because they're very hungry. We just took stuff from them. Actually, let's use this to feed them. Okay. And sometimes when I add, I don't even have to add water. Oh. So it just depends on the consistency. I can tell you that I've watched this on the um, site I'm on, the sourdough site I'm on in Facebook. People have had it overflow. Yeah. Have you seen that I've before? Seen that. I've never had it overflow. That's wild. So I'm happy with the way I'm doing it and the bread tastes good. Yeah. So I'm just going to add this. Okay. And then we'll add some to yours. And then I stir it? Yep, stir oh. it up. Now we have some really... Now at this consistency, this kind of ooey, cons gooey consistency, would I add any water? Um, yours it looks a little bit wetter than mine, so I feel like yours is fine, okay, but I'm going to cool. add a tiny drop to mine. Yeah, yours is a it's little... It's just a little bit thicker, but you know, it doesn't really matter. It's just... So, but what do you think? You know, I feel like yours is good. Well, I don't know. Yeah, I, I think yours is good. Okay. I, you know, you're right. You don't know, so... <laughs> What do you think? I'm trying to teach you here. I don't know what I'm thinking. So, okay, so this is mine. Let's do this to yours. Yeah, mine's mine's like a clump. Okay, let's add a tiny bit of water so you feel better. And then I, what I would do is maybe get a bigger... Ooh, I added a lot. It's okay, we'll add more flour. Okay. Um, what I would do is maybe get a bigger container. Okay. Put it in something this size. And that way you can... I know you're kind Whoopsie. of... Whoopsie. Um, that uh -huh. way you can make yours bigger too. Yeah. Maybe somebody wants some yours. Oh, if and I give any away. No, I'm just kidding. It, if you, <laughs> or when you make it, right? That's true too. Here, let's put a little bit more flour in yours. It's like gold in my house. I know. I feel that way too. <laughs> like this is gold stuff. Yeah, so this is. is three years old. Did I tell you that already? That is so crazy to oh, me. It's three years old. You just built. And again, you can use any flour. You can use whole wheat in there, rye, which you bought. So yep. just start feeding it with rye. Okay. Now. I'm gonna add a little add more. Add a little more. Yep. See, you're getting it. Still want it a little gooier than that. Yeah. Okay. Yep. And I'm worried it might it might overflow. We might have an overflow. You situation. might have an overflow. So you might want to change it when you get home. Let's add more. Okay. Ooh, you got lots of starter. You got to make some bread. Yes. And don't forget when you use the starter, you'll feed it. Okay. So every time you use it, you feed it. Let's here, even just a tad more here. I almost I added kind of a lot of water, sorry. That's okay. Yeah, it's okay because now you have more. Yep. I will not say no to good bread. Okay. So that feel that looks more like yours to me. Yeah. That's good. So just now you can tightly put on the lid. Okay. And I can tell you that this much, if you gave somebody this much, that's all you'd need to give them. Yep. Wow. I just wanted you to to so know that. Somebody could start somebody could their start, sourdough. Yeah, we're throwing it amount. away, but you really could start your own thing with that. That's cool. Yeah. 
It really is. And you said put the lid on tightly. Go ahead and put it on tightly. I'm putting mine in the fridge. Yours is fine. Oh, that's your lid. <laughs> um, um, but yours will be fine until you get home. Okay. And again, and you can also leave it on the counter. Right. Some people never refrigerate it because they're making, they're constantly making bread. This can actually stay out. Wow. Their whole okay. time. Well, that's good to know. Yeah. Okay, what other questions can you think of? Anything? Um, do we want to get into this yeah. over here? Yes. Okay, so what do we have here? So let's look at our dough. I'm going to quickly wash my hands again. Um, well, we can peek at it. Yeah, go ahead. Still looking about the same because it really hasn't been. Usually I look at it again after um, an hour. You okay. Know? Um, but it hasn't been quite an hour yet. And then, but I want to, I do want to show you something, how I stretch and fold. So wash my hands really good. And then I have my cold hand and then I just, you stretch and fold. So you're constantly, you stretch it up, push it over. And then as you get stuff on your hand, you just rinse it off. Oh, really? Yeah. So it's just like this. Actually, it's not bad, but huh. I always do it this way every, and so I was going to tell you, at first, when I started making it, they're like, yep, you got to do it every hour. Like, what? Every hour I'm going to stretch and fold? Stretch and fold. Oh, However, wow. I don't do it every hour. Okay. So <laughs> here's, this, is, this is the way it goes. I, I'll get up in the morning, make my dough, do a stretch and fold. <laughs> Actually, you don't even do stretch and fold. You just put it over there like we did. Okay. After an hour, I'll set the timer. One hour later, set the timer, stretch and fold. Stretch and fold. And I can tell you, like, on those sites, on the, on the sourdough site, somebody will say, okay, well, I needed my dough. And so somebody will answer them. It's not kneading. It's stretch and fold. Oh, every, oh it's very particular. Uh, yeah. So okay. it really is because kneading would be. Right. You know. Right. So this is stretch and fold. And you just go around, water here, and then you just put it back. So they say every hour. I don't. Like again, I don't do it every hour. Okay. When it starts to, it's going to start to rise here. And you'll just kind of punch it down like you would like a normal bread. Okay. And then just do your stretch and fold like maybe six times. Over the course of an hour? After an hour. After an hour. After an okay. hour. Okay. You'll bring it. And then I leave this is going to sit here till the nighttime. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. So you'll leave that, that over there all day. All day. Okay. And that's when my husband gets engaged in doing it. <laughs> if yeah. I go somewhere, I'll say, okay, stretch, stretch and fold. So, but there's been times when I probably only did like maybe five stretch and folds the whole day. Okay. So the other thing that you would do after that is you would put flour on these, your bat, your baton. Bannetton? Bannetton. I think. Baton. Or proofing basket. Proofing basket. <laughs> We're yeah. not sure exactly how to pronounce it. Put flour on it, and then it goes in the fridge overnight. So oh. it's a great thing to do. You want you have a party the next day. You put it in here overnight. Okay. And then you would bake it. You bake it 20 minutes with the lid on. Oven is at. I start mine at 5:50. It oh, reaches. Oh. Well, wait. I, huh? I started at 5:50, okay. and then it gets to 5:50, and I turn it all the way off and put it on 500. Okay. Lid on 20 minutes. You have to score it. Okay. Do it like a knife, like this, really hard, all the way to the bottom of. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. And are then, you? And this is, so you're not putting any oil or anything. I don't anything? put any oil in mine. Okay. Nope. And then, 20 minutes with the lid on, and then 20 minutes to the top. Okay. And then I always put at 500 it, the whole time. Yeah. And okay. I always put it on this to cool. Okay. So I, what I typically do is I have it, you know, my mitt, and I just pour it on there and then get rid of it. Be really careful with the lids when you take them off because they get hot. Oh, I believe <laughs> you it. Know, they, yeah. You know, you just learn. But this is one that I took out of the freezer. I freeze one because I have two of these. I freeze one, and we have one. So I'm going to have you taste, and you can have it too. Oh, I'm so excited. Yeah. So this one's just a sesame seed okay. and rosemary. And when did you put, when did you put the rosemary in? That's another thing. Are we, thank you for joining us. And we will see you next time for another episode. Thank you. Thanks for joining me today. Thank you for having me. Appreciate having you. <laughs>